Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club. I'm out on our 16th tee and what I want to film a video on today is a question I got sent in regarding keeping your head still or keeping your eye on the ball. So I'll just read it to you. And thank you for sending in uh, questions. It's great to film subjects that perhaps are more relevant to you, uh, the viewers. So please do get in touch on any social media or the platform info you, uh, for the True Golf Academy is coming along the bottom of the screen now. Uh, get in touch on any of them or post comments and questions below, videos you'd like to see. It's great to, to get around to filming those. So the question was from Kenneth Asp uh, Ashbury. And Kenneth says, as a fairly new player, I consistently get reminded to keep your eye on the ball or keep your head down. How relevant is this to my swing? Now, I know there's been quite a lot of other uh, videos filmed on this, and uh, I don't know that any of them suggest that we should be keeping our head down. But it is something we hear amateurs say to other amateurs and other beginner golfers all the time is you top that one because you looked up and really it's got nothing to do with that. In fact, some of the best players in the world are actually looking ahead of the golf ball before they hit it. Um, the ball tur you know, or the club ball contact is over so quickly, I don't know that we'll really ever know where we're focusing. Now, we don't want our head going up and down too much, but where it's actually tilted doesn't matter too much here. Golfers who try and keep their head down, which I'd say is the most destructive one of those two thoughts there, tend to end up with a very restricted body rotation towards the target. So it ends up being hands and arms releasing the club, no real body rotation towards the target. And that's the biggest problem. Keeping your eye on the ball or watch the ball would perhaps be a better thought than keep your head down because at least watch the ball, watch the club hit the ball, which you'll never see, but watch the club hit the ball as that right shoulder or our trail shoulder goes underneath our chin, allow it to turn our head to watch the ball fly. I get so many golfers who hit the shot, where did they, that go? And they rely on their partners because they didn't watch the ball fly. Um, and, and they end up with very much follow throughs that look something like this. So I would f you know, really ignore any advice of keep your head down and I'd very much get used to allowing your head and chest to turn towards the target to uh, really allow your body to open at impact. What we see with the best players in the world is the shoulders are open and the hips are even more open. What we see with too many amateur golfers by the time they come back to impact is everything is pretty much square and almost impact looks the same as at address. It doesn't look very dynamic and a lot of that is really fixating on keep their head down. I get so many golfers I see their arms are up here, the ball's 70 yards away and they're still trying to focus down here and it really restricts this rotation on the way through. So an exercise to actually do the opposite and get out of that would be to put something, uh, a marker point. So I've just got a, um, a golf ball marker that you'd use on a green. You could just use a tee peg. And, and put it in front, doesn't really matter how far in front, a foot or two foot in front, and just try and at impact, actually allow your head to actually focus on that marker in front of the ball, rather than getting fixated on focusing on the ball. So it's allowing your head to turn, which is actually allowing your chest and your hips to open on the way through. Let's go ahead and give it a go. You'll see um, players like Henrik Stenson, Annika Sorenstam, David Duval are all focusing ahead of the golf ball by the time they hit it you know and a lot of them did it for a real reason to allow this rotation or stop the club getting perhaps trapped behind them so I'm going to go ahead and hit one and actually be trying to look towards the marker rather than the ball to allow my body to rotate so that felt really solid straight down the fairway took a divot but it was definitely ball then divot and I was actively trying to look towards the marker in front of me rather than trying to keep my head down. So it's a great exercise to do the opposite. Put a marker down in front of you. Maybe start with a, a wedge swing on a little half shot. So I've got a 58 degree here and little half swings. And actually allow your head to turn towards the target pre-impact. 
get used to that rotation before going back into a mid iron and putting it into a fuller swing. But definitely I want you to get used to this rotation on the way through, not getting fixated with keeping your head down. I hope that video has helped. If it has, post some comments and questions below. Give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for all the other content Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.